Welcome to Demo of Unim Excellence. In this session, we will take you through various services available for school segment from class 6 to 8 English medium, 9th to 12th English medium and services available for 6 to 8th Hindi medium and 9 to 12th Hindi medium. In this section, our services ranges from various kinds. The first one beginning with e-lectures. Then we have e-simulations and various animations. To reinforce your learning and make things easier to remember, we have the third section of e-remembering as Avdhan. Then we will take you through e-learning segment which covers various various offerings of books, quick learning capsules, chapter notes, chapter wise question answers and other learning format required for the students. Thereafter we will take you to our e-testing platform where you can give subject wise and chapter wise tests based on the latest patterns available for learning. And at the last, we will browse you through our query solution platform to cover any kind of query that you have encountered. So let us browse through all the services from e-lectures to e-query solution and see how we can make learning more interactive, effective and enjoyable. from the chapter conic sections is ellipse 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 is what set of all points which are a uh, whose set of all points whose sum of the distances from two fixed points remain the same. Set of all points sum of whose distances from two fixed points remains the same means pf1 plus pf2 is always a constant is always a constant then we say that the figure which is forming by this p is known as ellipse and here the constant is always 2a where a is what it is a is what a is the semi major axis major axis is what this a dash a the distance between the two endpoints of the ellipse is what major axis it 
it is known as major axis the distance between two uh, endpoints similarly this b dash b the distance is always 2b and it is what it is minor axis so we write that the length of major axis is always 2a and the length of minor axis is always 2b then in case of this the coordinates of a n and a dash r a comma 0 and minus a comma 0 coordinates of b 0 comma b and b dash r 0 comma minus b so this length a a dash major axis if it lies on x axis then this point will be the vertex of the uh, ellipse so we write the vertices of the ellipse is always given by plus minus a comma 0 the coordinates of coordinates of the vertices of the ellipse is plus minus a comma 0 now the vertices of the focus uh, we write and the coordinates coordinates of the foci plus minus c comma zero we are using this foci because of these two focus foci is what it is plural form of focus in uh, case of this ellipse there are two focus therefore we use foci and the coordinates of focus f1 are c comma zero and f2 are minus c comma zero therefore equation of the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equals to 1 this is the equation of the ellipse in standard form uh, remember in case of this there are two types of ellipse one whose uh, axis is on x axis and one whose axis is on y axis so this is the ellipse uh, whose axis is on x axis how do we know that the axis is on x axis because of the foci if foci lies on uh, lie on the x axis then the axis of the ellipse is on x axis only if foci is foci uh, are lying on y axis then we say that axis of the uh, this ellipse is one y axis so if it is on x axis always remember the denominator of x square must be greater than the denominator of y square if axis is on y axis in that case x square, uh, the denominator of x square must be less than that of the y square so if another case if we are taking if 
we are taking another case that is ellipse whose axis is on y axis then it is given by this figure This will be the figure. Uh, here f1 will be 0 comma a, 0 comma minus a, and this is sorry 0 comma c and minus c, and the vertex 0 comma a and 0 comma minus a, 0 comma b comma 0, and it is minus b comma 0. In this case this length of major axis and length of minor axis remains the same but the coordinates of the vertices becomes 0 comma plus minus a the coordinates of the foci will be 0 comma plus minus c and the equation of the ellipse becomes x square upon b square y square upon a square equal to 1 so check over here since a is the semi major axis so semi major axis is on uh, with uh, y only so if it is with y square that is uh, the equation is in uh, this form that is axis of the ellipse will be uh, y axis so this, uh, these are the two types of ellipse. One is uh, the ellipse which uh, whose uh, axis is on x-axis, and the ellipse whose axis is on y-axis. Two types of ellipse are there. Now, next point is the value of the relation between a, b, and c. As we know, we are given three different constants A, B, and C. So the relation between A, B, and C are A, since A is the uh, major axis, so A square is equal to B square plus C square. This is the, the relation between these three important constants a square equals to b square plus c square so with the help of this we can find any one if we are given the two terms suppose we are given a square and b square we can find the third one if we are given b square c square then we can find the first one if we are given a square and c square then we can find the second one next point is the eccentricity. Eccentricity is what? It is the ratio of eccentricity is given by E and it is what it is the ratio of C and A C is what the focal length that is uh, distance between focus and the origin A is what the distance between the origin and any one vertex so eccentricity is what the ratio of the focal length and the length from the origin to the vertex. And last uh, point of this uh, ellipse is lattice rectum. 
let us set up all the ellipse. Let us rectum, the definition is same, a line perpendicular to y axis through the focus line segment L L dash is given by 2B square upon A for all types of ellipse if it is uh, uh, on x axis or it is on y axis the length of letter sectum remains the same that is 2B square upon A on A After we have seen the video lecture, that is e-lecture for conic sections, now it is time for us to learn through e-learning. So we have quick learning capsules for the topic conic sections. In quick learning capsules, these are one-time written documents to reinforce your learning and provide things at one go. They cover all complete theory different examples and complete concepts that are required for your learning. Let us browse through the document which is quick learning capsule for conic sections. Here it begins with the conic section, its definition and complete pictorial diagram to reinforce your learning and gives you various pictorial representations. As we browse further we see we have various equations covered various topics which are covered in this topic conic sections as circles is well defined it is shown with a complete diagram and related examples are here covered to make the things faster and easier for you to learn so you can practice them at your home as well This is how we cover all kinds of questions which are there based on circles. In this manner, this one document, Quick Learning Capsule, is for your quick learning. After seeing the lecture, you understand things. But once you have things in written with you, you can browse them at any point of time. After one topic is completely covered, we move to the next topic of Parabola. Complete parabola, its definition, its directrix and all other information is well defined in these documents. This is how quick learning capsules are designed for your quick learning, quick revision and that is why they are known as quick learning capsules. You can browse them at any point of time and reinforce your learning. Let us now explore the very important section of e-query solution. In this case, we have to go to the Ask a Teacher section. Here we can post our queries which would be answered by experts of their own topics and fields. We go to the section Ask a Teacher and click on Ask Now. Once we click it, we are redirected to the page where we can post our queries. In this case, we can direct the queries in the right section. Here, for example, we have studied about conic sections if we, and we want to post query about it. So we will go to the section school and then we will choose the board. We choose the board SCBSE and then the course which is 11th class. So senior secondary courses, class is 11th and subject as mathematics. Then we also specify the topic. For example, you have a doubt about ellipse, so you will write ellipse. This is easier for us to track the topics. So here you can post your question. How does eccentricity in ellipse vary? Once you are done with your question, you can Click on Ask Question button and your query is submitted and your answers would be 
replied in the My Accounts section of the website univexcellence.com. See here, your question has been successfully added. And once the answer is received, it can be seen in your section services I used. For example, we go to the section services I used. This is how your question is posted. Ask a teacher, how does eccentricity in ellipse vary? 6th January 2012. Once the answer is posted, a account this way, view answer would be visible. So, you can view the answer. This is a previous answer. So, it is coming out through. This is how we can post our queries online for all the topics that we wish. Now we want to go for the e-testing platform. Let us go to the section of online test. In the online test, we can give our test now, subject wise and chapter wise. We would like to try and test different subjects which are mentioned here. Let us try to give a test which is a subject wise test for economics. It is of total 50 questions and time duration is 30 minutes. Let us give it. Once we go to this, we are shown with all the instructions which are required for the online test. We have a section for the bookmarking of the questions, which we want to reconsider later. We have attempted questions and questions remaining. Along with it, we would be seeing next and the previous buttons. As we finish, we would have to click on click here to submit button to submit the test. Now, let's start the test for economics. This is a test for all the chapters of the subject economics. The complete timing which is available to us is 30 minutes. As we begin the test, the time keeps on decreasing. Here are all the questions, 50 questions listed. Let us go and attempt few of the questions. We go to the first question and click it. Once we attempt it, it is coming in attempted question section. We can go to the next question by moving to the next button. We click on to the next button and choose the right answer for the question number 2. It is also appearing in the attempted questions. We move towards the question number 3 but we are a little unsure about it so we bookmark it. But we give a probable answer for it which we feel is correct. So now we here see that it is appearing in the attempted as well as bookmarked questions. Bookmarked questions are for your further reference at any point later. Now let us see, you do not want to go to the question number 4 and you directly want to jump to question number 32. Yeah, this is also possible. You click on the question number 32 and here is your question 32. You click for the answer and it comes in your attempted. Now you have remembered the answer for the question number 3 which you had bookmarked. You go to the bookmark section and click on the bookmark button of question number 3. Here it is your question number 3. But you feel that the first option, Law of Demand, is the right one. So you click on the right button and unmark it. So now it is not bookmarked and it is removed from the bookmark section. See here the time in decreasing. Now you have only 28 minutes and 24 seconds left. The same way you can appear for all the questions and they would be appearing in your attempted questions. Once you click on Submit button, your report would be immediately processed for general economics all the chapters of the subject. Before that you would be asked for a confirmation. Your report is being generated. Kindly be patient. Here is your report. It was the subject of general economics. 50 questions were there. Unattempted were 46 and 4 were attempted. So your score is 0%. This is how you can indicate the indicators for your course and once you pass it, you would be given up a pass report card as well. This is how the e-testing platform works for various subjects of your class, your topic and your knowledge.